Hi everybody and welcome to video 11 of the AdWords Editor video training course brought to you by ppccampaigngenerator.com. In this video I want to talk about the extensions tab and the type of extensions you can add through AdWords Editor. To begin let's talk about the type of extensions you can add. First you can add location extensions, next you can add site links. These are the only two extensions you can add through AdWords Editor. You'll notice there are more extensions. So if you want to add more extensions to your campaign, you need to do it through the interface. You cannot do it through AdWords Editor. But this is an example of what a location extension looks like. We can see if you expand it by hitting the plus sign, it will show a map of the location that you're setting. And this is available within AdWords Editor. We have call extensions. This allows people to call your place of business on their mobile device. We have social extensions. You can add a plus one annotation. Product extensions. For this you need a Google product feed and you have to have a Google account that is running a feed through Google products extensions. Here we have seller ratings. These pull in aggregate ratings across the web through BizRate and several other um, rating resellers. Then we have ad site links. So site links are links that appear right below your ad and it's a way to give people to dive deeper within your site if they already know what they're looking for or it allows you to introduce different parts of your site in one quick and easy link. So those are the extensions but we can only add location extensions and site links. So first, let me show you how to add a location extension. There are two ways of doing that. One, you can go to the Campaigns tab, and then you can link your Google Places to your account. So if you have a Google Places, then you can link it by simply adding the email here, and you can, once you submit it, it will ask you to enter your password, you wait a few minutes, and then you want to get recent changes up here and that should pull in the locations that you have within your Google Places account. Another way to do it is to manually add your location extensions. So you can click this add location extensions and then we're off and running. What we can do, I'm just going to put some dummy information in here. Jim's Auto Shop one, two, three, first street, suite 109. Okay, then you want to select your country and you want to put your phone number in here. I like the format with the parentheses. and then you can choose a map icon since this is an example of an auto shop I would want to choose a car hit OK and then you can also add a small business image if you want and you can kinda of get a preview of what it looks like over here on the right so now we have an extension what we could do if we needed to do bulk extensions is what I'm doing is copying this extension that we just filled out go into Excel paste it and now you can see the columns that you can fill in. So if you have several locations, you can simply copy them and paste them, you know, right in here. So you can quickly and easily bulk update anything you need. And then what you would do is simply copy all of it, go back here, hit make multiple changes, check my location extensions information. Below includes a column for campaign names, hit preview, process, keep proposed changes, and we can see that I just added another extension. So quick and easy way to add in bulk, that's the way I would go about it. And then let's move over to the site links. So now I think you know how to do location extensions, site links. So site links look like this underneath your ad are going to be 
places within your site you can send people to. So if you're a big business, let's say you're a pizza store, people are probably interested in a store locator so they can order pizza from you. They might be interested in your deals. They might be interested in where to log in because they're a returning customer and so on. So that's what site links allow you to do. What you can do is simply click add site link. I would add about four of them if I were you. And then so this could be like a store locator. And then you put the address here. And then you can put deals. What else? Um, you could put, you know, location. I, I, I don't know. Something here. And then something here. And there you go. So the most important thing is to notice the order. So you want to put the most important site links in the first position and then work your way down in descending order. And that's how you add site links. I mean, it's pretty simple. So what you can do from here is upload it and Google will review the site links. They will review your location extensions. If everything looks good, your ad will be enhanced with ad extensions. And like I said, if you want to add any of these other ones, you're going to have to do them in the interface. Okay, so that is extensions. Let's move on now to the Ad Groups tab so I can explain how the Ad Groups tab works. Thanks.